aspects of the phone. Um, if I wanted to say, if I noticed on the home page I had an Outlook message, I can just jump into Outlook. I missed that touch. This is a test device, so sometimes the screen isn't as responsive as we'd like it to be. There we go. And in this case, I just have a couple of messages, but I could go filter them through all the unread images, the flagged images, urgent, go back to all. You know, if I wanted to read one, I can tap it, go in, beautiful, simple, very easy to read. You'll notice some basic text, uh, so, sorry, some basic options like being able to reply or forward or move between messages. We put the most common buttons right up at the top. Certain buttons, you know, we'll have put in the ellipse here where we'll have additional options available. If I go back, show you the multi-select, you tap the first letter of the mail and I can go multi-select them in this way. If I want to do an action like say mark is red, just mark is red and that's done. Go back here to home, um, show you people. People is always a fun one. This is where I can find the people that are the most important in my life. I'm going back because I was drilled into a contact here. And as you'll see, I have different ways of being able to filter. I can go filter through all of them. I can, come on. There it is. I can go to what's new and show, you know, this is activity across all of my social networks for the people that have been going and doing activity most recently through Facebook, Twitter, or whatever else you have. Um, my recent contacts, people I've had contact with most recently, if I wanted to, you know, perhaps I got a text or a call from Jane Doe, I can go straight to her and just say, okay, there's interesting information. Get her last contact information, call her mobile info number, whatever I want. If for whatever reason I wanted to put her on my home page, you know, maybe she's a wife or a girlfriend or someone special to me, I can, you know, make her a favorite. And that puts her straight on the home page right here. And now she's pinned there. If I hold this down, I have the ability to move her around. And, you know, I can move it to the different locations. Like, so I can move her up, say higher, because I think she needs to be prioritized there. Tap her and she's back. And she's done. Come on. Oh, I see. It's letting me. I can delete two by just tapping on that. Um, Xbox Live. It's a collection of games that you would have. This one is not wired up, so you don't, I don't have the ability to show you real games. But if I wanted to take a look at a game and try it out, you know, I could tap in and see information about Reversi that I might want to try or buy. I have the ability to look at my avatar right here. Whoops, again, the touchy screen there, which will show me information with the avatar. And also, I will have another pane that's not currently here to show notifications, game invites, reminders, nudges that friends are saying. And then I'll wrap up here and show you the uh, calendar. I've had troubles with the calendar button for some reason today. There we go, I hope. No, nope, back to inbox. Now let's see if I can show you. I'll show you the zoom, because that one tends to let us go in again. This is a test device with the screen is a bit flaky. So it's a zoom, music, video, podcast, all the things you want. You can swipe across the panorama as before, look at the history of the music you've been listening to, you know, look at the songs you've been listening to, drill in on an album you might want to listen to. You should see the album art. Here at play, go straight in, chain checks, do all those things you might want to do. So we'll pause it, jump back to here, and then go back to your home screen. So that's basically it.